Okay, automatic stabilizers in the economy. This is basically changes in uh, fiscal policy that happen automatically that will increase your demand in your economy when there's a recession. So basically this idea here is that policymakers might not have to do anything in the economy because there's things that automatically can happen real time. And then the nice thing about automatic stabilizers is that there's no lag between uh, the policymakers trying to get things through, let's say, Congress or something, or uh, committees, uh, because they happen automatically when the recession happens. So real quick on the automatic stabilizers. Um, basically, when there's recessions, overall incomes fall, which means the overall amount of taxes being uh, collected fall. So this is the idea that there's less being taxed, so that actually increases the overall demand. So um, it's lower income brackets don't get taxed as much. So what happens when incomes fall? People reach those lower income brackets. The overall tax rates are less, and it's just like cutting taxes in the economy. That should increase some demand in your economy because tax rates are lower. Also, there are government programs that tend to just increase when there's recessions. Uh, welfare recipients, um, unemployment insurance claims go up, and um, all those things happen automatically. So there's an increase in government spending. More people will be collecting unemployment. Um, so that's uh, that's actually a stimulus in that um, they're earning an income then that they can use to purchase goods and services in the economy. Uh, income or money going to welfare recipients, it's on also an increasing in government spending, and those things happen automatically.